Hi everyone, this is Andrew Lang here at the University of Alaska Fairbanks comparing my week 3 weather observations for ATM 101 to those made by the National Weather Service during this time. <clears throat> the nearest National Weather Service observation site would be at Fairbanks International Airport, which is about 3 miles away. It's definitely 3 miles to the UAF campus West Ridge, as seen from here. However, my observation location was more where this cursor is. So it's slightly lower elevation and in a slightly different direction. So things like cloud cover and the like would still be largely the same, but temperature and pressure measurements may be different given the change in elevation and exposure in general. My observation dates were during the week of um, January 30th through um, February 3rd, 2018, not 23rd, that is a typo, which can be ignored, so for five continuous days. Here I have compared the National Weather Service's observations with my own. Now mind you, their observations were more frequent. Theirs are every hour versus once every day. So there is simply a lot more data. So their graph is obviously going to be <coughs> excuse me, my throat's out this week, substantially more varied than those of my own observations. To be fair, mine look nothing like those, but also to be fair, some of the same general trends can be observed, such as a warming trend here corresponding with a warming trend here. A bit of a cooling trend is observed here, as it is here, as is a mediation in temperatures, lows are warmer and highs are cooler, <clears throat> and then a bit of a departure from this mediation toward the end of the week, as observed here and here. So although I have less data and mine was likely less accurate, for one thing my thermometer was in a window in direct sunlight, some of the same general trends can still be observed. Just some other visual observations to note. Cloud cover throughout the week was more or less non-existent. It was a wonderful, sunny, bright, clear week. There was a little bit of haze over the city of Fairbanks, which the university is outside of, the city limits of, and on a hill above, which from my location is to like the south and east, and from the National Weather Service observation station, the nearest one would be Fairbanks International Airport. Um, it, the city would definitely be to the east of. So there's a little bit of haze. Some of it I think it's just freezing fog or just, you know, smog, car exhaust and the like. Their wind was kind of erratic on campus throughout the week. The only wind indicator I had was the campus power plants, clouds of steam, from the nearby coal burning power plant on campus. However, that was the only indication of wind. I never saw trees rustle, there weren't any weather vanes, never felt wind on my face. So it was just light air or calm the entire time that I was taking observations. Of course, at the airport, they take observations every hour, so they reported wind at times, but they reported large amounts of calm weather as well. Now, barometric pressure, National Weather Service, versus my own. Mind you, they take readings every hour versus once a day. However, frankly, mine looks nothing like theirs at all. Um, the only difference is some numbers. Mine appear to be within roughly the same, the same range, but even further departed from that. So I'm not sure what happened with mine. My barometer was located outside a window between the glass and the screen and brought inside for reading. It had to be recalibrated each time, given that it would drift, given elevation had to be recalibrated each time. So I'm not sure what the situation was with that, if mine just was not calibrated or not accurate enough, or just not read often enough, but frankly my observations look nothing like theirs. So I'm not entirely sure that my barometer is necessarily to be trusted. However, these were relatively high pressure readings which corresponded with relatively nice weather. So in some respects, although its readings should be taken with a grain of salt, it could be said that it was more or less correct. Now for the TV weather maps. These were pulled from 
the class materials on Blackboard and taken screenshots were taken and then imported into this slide, so they are a bit pixelated. However, here is Fairbanks, roughly right about here would be my location in Alaska. So during the beginning of the week, we are very much in a high pressure system, as is still the case the next day. The system has moved a little bit, but not much. By later in the week, things have moved toward the, I guess that would be east, but we are still very much in a high pressure system in interior Alaska during this whole time. Same with the next day and the next day. The nearest low is right here and here, so we never really experienced the influence of a low, hence any bad weather, which in our case might be snow and wind. So really, that is all of our observations. Um, I was unfortunately unable to include the GOES or GOES data as I had technical difficulties accessing it, which I have informed my instructor of. They just did not get back to me in time before the due date of the assignment. So unfortunately, those will be missing from this observation as they were just unavailable and I had trouble accessing them. The ones the current ones for my observation versus these as well. So those are not available, but otherwise I was able to at least access the TV weather maps and their data. In the case of the satellite images, I can however extrapolate that I would have been over a relatively clear area without much water vapor, given the fact that the sky was clear. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.